Hello there, I'm Marty D. Donovan, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to program the control keys over here on your WebStation mixer. Uh, okay, over here, if you look, I've got Playout 1 open. This is a test edition that I use for um, learning things. Um, so this is just, just here for test purposes. Uh, and if you look, I've got the quick keys open, and on the quick keys, I've got certain keys which do certain things. For argument's sake, if I press this first one <laughs> it's a little bit of laughter well you got to get a laugh haven't you so that's what that does so I'm gonna program key number one over here on my mixer uh, to work that button now when you get your uh, when you get your mixer you get a bit of software as well with it called WebStation virtual keyboard mapper you can get it online at DNR uh, and on it, it shows you all the different modules. Now, a module is what they call a fader. At the moment in time, this is my microphone fader. You would have seen me switch that on at the beginning. Uh, this here is the playout uh, for the, the carts down the bottom down here. That's what this is. Uh, this video here, sorry, this mixer volume here, or this uh, module here is for the quick keys over here so it only plays these quick keys over here and this is the pc this is what the computer plays on if i ever have to take something straight off the internet um, it will come straight via this and this is used for skype so i have two microphones the play out i have the carts and I have the PC, you can see how it's wired up. But over here, I wanna wire these buttons to push off um, my quick keys for me. So, um, Playout One are really concise, very good. They got this great uh, web page uh, at the help section on their website, uh, and it maps out all the keys for you. You can map out all the keys, so, um, Anything inside Playout One with a with a mapped out key can be activated via this board. But what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is let it fire off this one laughing jingle over here, and then the process is the same throughout. So all you have to do it's is is carry on the process. So over here I go to Control where it says Control because this is Control. It says it here Control. Okay, and 1A, there's A and there's 1, so it's going to be that button. Now, if we go back to uh, Playout 1, uh, Playout 1 tells us for the first one, it's Control, Shift and A. Well, okay, so over here, I say Control, and over here, I say Shift, and over here, I say Key A like that and then I activate it by ticking it and when I tick that watch the control center over here that clicks on I can now save that so it's saved and every time it reboots it will it'll know what to play and then whilst I'm playing my music um, I'll play this song here which is uh, Joe Keeley and the Joe Keeley band great song it's called the end of the world it is uh, and not copyrighted at this moment in time, so I should get away with playing it. It goes like this. Now, if I wanted to put my uh, laughing jingle in the top, I'd just press the button. <laughs> and there you go. That's how it turns off. I hope that's been a help of you. That's a quick way of programming the control buttons. Very simple, very concise. Thank you very much to um, DNR and thank you very much as well to Playout One. I have to tell you that neither company has endorsed this video in any way and it is strictly my own views. Um, I hope you find that help. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm no expert, but guess what? I could Google just as good as the next guy. I'm the Broadcast Ninja. I wish you the very best and uh, I'm out of here. Bye-bye for now.